Now we have a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Exclusive video of a hazmat scare. Emergency crews respond to a city councilor's home after he received a letter with white powder. The powder turned out to be harmless, and just moments ago, we learned police have identified a suspect who's yet to be arrested. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnick joins us live from East Providence with new information on the case. Well, Karen, East Providence Police and the FBI working together today on this one. It turns out that suspicious white powder actually turned out to be powdered sugar. Eyewitness News exclusively on scene in East Providence as hazmat crews and protective suits respond to Grove Ave, the home of Councilman Brian Coogan. A suspicious envelope containing a white powder sent to his home, setting off a major emergency response. And I opened it up and all this white substance powder came out and uh, at first I was just, I, I really, it really didn't uh, hit me. I would conclude it's a threat and that's why we'll be handling it as such. The FBI is now involved, and the police chief says they're investigating who the author is. Another suspicious letter was sent to city manager Richard Brown and other city council members. A copy of the letter sent to Coogan was obtained by Eyewitness News. The person behind it calling him, quote, an idiot and tells him to resign. It was definitely because I voted against to raise taxes. It was definitely politically motivated from somebody. Mayor Joseph Larissa says residents have been complaining of Coogan's temper tantrums from last week's city council meeting. At at least two occasions we tried to take a roll call vote and he was shouting and screaming. Still, whoever is behind it, the mayor says, cross the line. I've gotten coal in the mail. You know it's coal, it's a joke, you're a Scrooge, whatever. Sugar, somebody thinks this could kill me. Um, so that's completely unwarranted. And back live here tonight, police say they did link the suspect through the letters that he sent. He is a male resident, we're told, with no political affiliation. And police tonight are calling him a suspect. But at this point, Karen, they say they have not arrested him. They do expect some more developments to come tomorrow. Reporting live tonight from the Providence Mobile Newsroom here in East Providence, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.